Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Kamaria, you can call me Miss K if you like. So looking forward to reading a story to you all today. And you can join us every Thursday at noon. We read a story together, we sing songs, we do activities, and we talk about the art that these stories remind us of that we have at the Met. So if you're ready, let's get started. We begin with our Storytime song. It goes to the tune of This Old Man, and please sing along if you already know it. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We use our eyes to look and see. We use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin now with our book. Thank you so much everybody. Our book today is The Snowy Day. I bet some of you have read this one before. I had this one read to you before but it is a fantastic book. I hope it's snowing where some of you all are. It's not snowing where I am but I love snow. So I'm going to read you this book today about a little boy named Peter who goes on a snowy adventure. And this book is written by Ezra Jack Keats. See what happens to Peter on his snowy day. <clears throat> One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night and everything, it covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Have you ever seen that where you live? How high has the snow been piled up where you live? if you get snow. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. What was it do you think he found? What could possibly have been sticking out of the snow that made that line? It was a stick. <laughs> a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop! on top of Peter's head. <laughs> Doesn't seem bothered though. He's on to his next adventure. Where do you think he's going next? He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Still got hit with one though. Gotta dodge. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. Whoa. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. See, he's already in the bath, but he's still thinking about his fun day. Do you ever do that? 
Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. What do you think happened to it? He brought a cold snowball into a warm house. Mm. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted oh, yeah. all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. Thank you all so much. That was such great listening. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope you all have some fun in snow if it snows where you live. And if it doesn't, at least you got to read the story, right? So we have a lot of art at the Met that has snow in it, but the one I picked for us today is called Evening Snow at Uchigawa. And it's by a Japanese artist named Uragawa Hiroshige. It's from 1936 and it's a wood, bo wood block print. Uh, it has a beautiful lake full of snow and a tiny little village nestled in the snow and three people walking one of them's carrying something on their shoulders. And so what are some of the things you notice about this print? Like, where do you think those people are going? Are they playing in the snow like Peter? Are they working? One of them's carrying something. Or maybe they're going to see somebody bringing them food. So what can you imagine? Imagine you're there in the snow. What would you most like to do if you found yourself in a snowy little village? I think I would like to go sledding. I like to make angels like Peter did. And I would like to drink hot chocolate. But that's just me. I wonder what sorts of things you all can imagine. I bet you all have great imaginations. So think about your own snowy days. All right, before we go, I'm gonna show you how to make snowflakes for activity. Can't have a snowy day without a snowflake. And luckily you only need two things really to make a good snowflake. A square sheet of paper. Um, this one's kind of small. You might want to use a bigger one if this is your first time making a snowflake. And some scissors. And that's it. That's all you need. So to start out, you take your square sheet of paper and fold it so that the corners line up like that. And then fold it again along here. Fold that triangle right in half to make another triangle like that. And this is where it gets a little different. We're not ready to start cutting yet. From here, you want to divide this into three parts. So you kind of got to use your eyes for this. Get someone to help you but you're gonna fold one piece across like that and then fold the other piece across kind of like that. It's hard to do sitting up, but when you unfold it, you should see three different ones. And it might take some finagling, but you want it to look like this, just like that. So from here, you're ready to go. The first thing you wanna do is cut off the top right here. You can cut it in any way you like. You see I drew on mine. So when I cut this, I would cut it off like that. Um, but you can cut sharp down like that, or you can just take off the top completely flat, but just make sure these two parts come off. And next, you see where I colored in the lines? This is where I would cut out the shape. It's a little too hard to do sitting up like this, but I just wanted to show you where I shaded things in, that's where I would cut out the paper and you just do any shape you like down one side and down the other side. Try not to do a shape straight across or it'll make your, your snowflake smaller and maybe you didn't want that. But yeah, just up one side and down the other. And then when you unfold, after you've made all your cuts, you'll get something that looks like what I showed you before. And you can also use color paper. Your snowflakes don't have to be white. I made one 
that is gold. And I've never seen a golden snowflake, but it's nice to have one that I made myself. All right, that's it. Thank you all so much for coming to Storytime. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one. Bye. Have a great day.